A very small number of humans have ever traveled to space, and to be more precise, that's 547 individuals from 41 various nations. As a result, it is reasonable to believe that you could lose someone in space given the low population there at any given time. Sergei Krikalevich, a hapless Russian cosmonaut, was the main flight engineer on board the Soyuz TN-12 spacecraft in 1991. He was on a mission that was intended to last a few months and involved performing a few spacewalks, also known as extravehicular activities. Sergei had no idea that this brief journey would take 311 days, a record that because to Einstein's theory of time dilation, caused him to mature by a total of two years more than everyone else on Earth. According to Einstein, time and gravity are interconnected. To demonstrate it, Einstein put forth a broad theory known as the theory of relativity. Less time passes or ticks off the clock, the greater the gravity. While more time passes, the lower the gravity. As a result of the zero G force in orbit, our friend Sergio's time in space seemed to pass more quickly. But how did he end up up there in the first place? Let's go back in time a bit to Sergei's early years in order to respond to that query. He was born in the Soviet Union's Leningrad, which is now Street Petersburg. He enjoyed swimming, skiing, cycling. He graduated from high school in 1975. He earned a mechanical engineering degree from the Leningrad Mechanical Institute, now known as Baltic State Technical University. He took part in ground control activities in 1981, developed space operation strategies, and assessed space equipment. He was a member of the rescue mission crew that designed the docking procedures and repaired the internal systems of the unmanned Salient 7 space station in 1985. He had a temporary deployment to the Bureau and Shuttle program in 1986 after finishing his basic training. He began getting ready for his first lengthy flight on board the Miura station in early 1988 after being selected as a cosmonaut in. French astronauts Jean-Luc Christian, Commander Alexander Volkov, and flight engineer Sergei launched the Soyuz TM-7 on November 26, 1988. The previous crew, made up of Valery Polikov, Musa Manarov, and Vladimir Titov, remained aboard Mir for an extra 25 days, setting a record for the longest stay in orbit by a six-person crew. Volkov, Sergei, and Polyakov resumed their study of the Mir station. The Mir was prepared for a period of autonomous operations when the previous crew departed for Earth because the next crew's arrival had been postponed before landing on Earth. Sergei began prepping for his second journey in April 1990 on April 27, 1989, when he was a backup crew member for the 8th Long Duration Ma mission, which also included five spacewalks and a week of Soviet-Japanese operations. In December 1990, Sergei began planning for the Ninth Murmur, which involved getting ready for 10 spacewalks. The Soyuz TM-12 took off on May 19, 1991 with Commander Natoli Artsbarsky, Helen Sharman, a British astronaut, and Survey acting as the flight engineer. Sergei and Artsbarsky were left on Meyer by themselves after a week when Sharman and the following crew departed for Earth. Over the course of the summer, they performed six space walks to conduct a variety of experiments and perform station maintenance. Sergei elected to stay on Meyer as the flight engineer for the incoming crew, which was scheduled to board in October on the Soyuz TM-13 journey, as a result of the subsequent two planned flights being combined into one in July 1991. The engineer role was filled on October 2, 1991, by Dr. Evakirov, a Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic astronaut who was unprepared for a protracted mission. On October 10, 1991, Franz VBAK the first Austrian astronaut, as well as Abakirov and Artsaparsky, returned. Before returning to Earth, Sergei and Commander Alexander Volkov remained on board. Volkov and Sergei performed another spacewalk on March 25, 1992, following the crew replacement in October. Sergei communicated with other ham radio operators all around the world on a regular basis. The destruction of the Soviet Union occurred on December 26, 1991. Sergei was in space at the time. 
Due to the fact that both the landing zone and the Baikner Cosmodrome were located in the newly created Kazakhstan, there was considerable uncertainty regarding the mission's success. He stayed in space for a total of 311 days, which lasted twice as long as he had anticipated. The moral of the story is fairly clear, but let's just say that, in space, you should never volunteer to stay behind while the rest of your crew departs, since you never know when you'll be able to return to Earth. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you can join our small community here on Worldwide Facts. If you love this video and would like to continue the lovely experience that space news and amazing space facts have to offer. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.